guys, welcome back to another part of the Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge Part 33? I have no idea. Um, welcome back, guys. So as you can see, it is Thursday. The last time you saw this family... My dog found his squeaky toy. We love that. Last time you saw this family was a Saturday night. So I played... Shadow. We can't be having that right now, okay? What? Don't look at me and wag your tail. <laughs> I played Sunday through Wednesday off camera. I was able to get Bree's Lifetime Wish moving. She is now five out of eight. She is now five out of eight. Last time she was three out of eight. And I'm gonna have her get up and tend her garden. Oh. Okay, okay, that's rude. Um, so I have some explaining to do, some things that happened while they were gone. So, um, Brie now has a perfect apple tree and a perfect lime tree. Those were the two that were added. I had Hayden go on a little date with Leonardo just because she was getting stir crazy from being out of the house. She also finished her book, which is awesome. Um, it was a drama and she gets 386 millions every week in royalties, and she is 89% done with her next, what is this? Oh my god, she's got a little collection, that is so cute, uh, but she is 89% <coughs> done with her second book, um, which is called Waiting for Rain. Um, I, I don't know why, I, sorry, I had to go take my dog squeaky, do squeaky toy from him. He wants it so bad, he's like at my feet begging. He'll have it back when I'm done filming, okay? Um, but yeah, I had her go on a little date with Leonardo. We actually learned so much about him. So he is in the cooking career. He's a natural cook, excitable, and family-oriented, which honestly makes me like him more. So maybe he'll actually, you know, stick around for season two or gen two or whatever you want to call it. Also, I had Kendall meet someone new at school. Where did he go? Omar Wen, or Wan, however you say that last name. So this might be a possible love interest for her. Um, but again, we don't have very many parts of this season left. And then in the next season, oh, she's faithful to Leonardo. That's so cute. Uh, but yeah, and then in the next season, they're going to be in a new town. So we'll see. But it would be a good little uh, high school romance for her. Brie, are you, get the hell up. Why are you still sleeping? She was up very late last night cleaning the whole house, and I'm also going to have her make some pancakes because we have literally zero breakfast food. And they're both just going to talk to friends, get to know their boyfriends. And Hayden is going to write until hopefully she finishes her book. Ooh, excuse me, I'm going to turn these on for her really quickly. I don't think any of them need watering, but, you know, just in case. They only need about a second of being on. And also, Rufus desperately needs a bath, but he will not let us. Every time I tell them to give Rufus a bath, they walk to the bathtub and then cancel the interaction. So I have given up. <laughs> I have given up on fixing him. He's just going to be smelly for the rest of his life. And that's fine with me. Oh, he's not even an elder yet. Okay, good. I was like, the rest of his life might not be much longer anyways, but we got time. We got time. Oh, Waiting for Rain is the newest piece of gripping dramatic fiction from author Hayden Kirkland. Some have said it bears too close a resemblance to unfortunate fortune telling as the book needed more drama. Hayden will receive six royal payments of 275 simoleons. She gets paid on Sundays. Um, oh, and she also had a little opportunity. Join the medical career. Girl, you are an author. Um, she had a little opportunity to, it was like a, earn more than 500 simoleons per week or something like that. Who is diabolically laughing in my front yard? Paperboy, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, it looks like she's got a dead plant. Okay, so we'll go dispose of that. And actually, I'm going to have Hayden make us some breakfast. She's probably going to burn the house down because she has no cooking skill. But you know what? That's fine. Be a little, uh, little drama added to the show. What else is dead? So we have a dead onion, a dead watermelon, and a dead grape. 
two dead grapes. Look at this. Oh, I'm surprised she didn't drop down to four. We have a lot of plants we need to replace. Hopefully, um, onion and watermelon were both two that we needed perfect. So hopefully the new plant we plant will be perfect. And then once it's fully grown, it will be, uh, it'll add to our little collection. She's just killing plants left and right. Holy crap. All right, all right, fine, go eat, you little drama queen. She's like, I'm not being a drama queen, I'm starving to death. She's a drama queen. Hayden, please do not burn the house down. Girl, what do you mean you can't get to it? Yes, you can, go eat. Oh my God. Are you serious? Grab a plate. You are such a drama queen. She is the number one drama queen. Can you eat please? Okay. And then you will finish, hello, finish tending your garden and then dispose of your dead plants. Please do not burn the house down, Hayden. I would not appreciate it. Pretty sure the house has been burned down once already. Oh my God, first time she's ever cooked in her life and she made normal quality pancakes. I am here for it. She's just a natural talent. Where did those go? Okay, how, tell me how, hello? Okay, tell me how I put those on the floor. Right now. And I think I'm just gonna have her kind of relax today. We're just really focusing on Brie and her little garden. Surprised it hasn't dropped down to four. Let's see, we have a perfect apple, a perfect lime. Perfect grape, but they're barren. I don't know if that counts. Perfect tomato and perfect lettuce. So maybe it'll count until I like dispose of it. I don't really know. But we need to plant, your bladder is too full. Are you kidding me? Okay, go pee then. My goodness. She is just problematic left and right. It, it is 1 p.m. already. I feel like I've been filming for a second, but I have been speeding through this a lot. Maybe I'll film two days today just because of how, um, how quickly we're going through this. All right, so we'll plant an onion here. What was that, a watermelon? We'll plant a watermelon here. We have two grapes we need to plant and one tomato that we need to plant. Someone is coming home after school with Harley. Isn't that the girl that we tried to get Kendall to date and she said no basically she's a little biatch I think that's her I really really do all right why don't you hold your little cat niece or nephew I always forget that Decker is a boy I always call him a she all right come on get rid of the great plant all right plant many one two just the two. Come on, girl. I need to see if any of these new plants you plant are going to be perfect. We need a perfect onion and a perfect watermelon. And then the only thing we'll need to get perfect will be potatoes, which would be amazing. Marcus got his gardening to level four. Well, we don't care about Marcus. Oh, not an apple. Plant this here. Are the girls home? They are. Oh, look, she's talking to her. She's like, so you rejected me. Do you remember that? Yeah, we're going to fight. Okay, do your homework with her, I guess. And you... You can try to bathe him. Good luck. I've been trying. I really have. She is so smelly. Shauna has to go soon. Well, why'd you even come over? So rude. So rude. Oh, my gosh. Decker is adventurous. So see, look, now she's back down to three. This is what upsets me. We have a perfect apple, a perfect lime. You're standing in front of my watermelon. Excellent potatoes, a perfect tomato, and a perfect lettuce. Like we have four perfects planted, but this only says three. And the onion isn't even perfect, it's only outstanding. But that watermelon's perfect though. Thank goodness, and that grape is perfect. So I'm guessing maybe they have to, 
Maybe they can't be in the growing state. Maybe they have to be in the mature state to count, which would make sense because we only have... So maybe what I need to start doing, because even though they were dead, they were still like they were still here so maybe once they die i should still just keep them in the garden and they'll still count but once her plants get fully grown we will be up to six perfect so we'll only need a perfect onion and a perfect potato which is i guess exciting go take a bath girl you deserve it you really do see like she can brush him but she can't give him a bath and brushing does get his like stink to go away a little bit but not very much, and it's really annoying. It's quite very annoying, actually. What are you doing? Don't, no, stop. Go, um, go play video games. You need to get your fun up, so go play video games. And I don't know what to get her into. You better go pee outside. Not on the deck. Go pee outside. Sorry, my dog is now playing with my cat since I took his toy away. Uh, but hearing him make a little noise is better than hearing him squeak a thousand times. Let's go start another book. Another drama that's going to be like her um, genre. And I guess you can play video games with her too. What is this? Marked. Kitty loves you or at least wants to claim ownership over you. That's kind of cute. But let's start another drama book. We have Lost Thoughts. Waiting for Rain. Attacked by... him? I don't know. I feel like attacked by cougars. It just sounds stupid. All right, go ahead and repair it. She does have quite a good repair skill. She'll literally be level seven by the time she's done with this, so. Or she better be. Okay, I was like, girl, how you do that so fast? <laughs> um, oh, that's what we were doing. We were upgrading. See, this is how long it's been since I have, a. Uh, played I was having her up update everything to s all the like toiletry things to self-cleaning and I totally forgot so the sink is done I'm pretty sure the toilet's done because we don't have an option to and I don't remember cleaning that toilet like ever so that's what they've been doing okay my dog is like tormenting my little kitten she kind of torments him too though so like I don't feel that bad but I do feel bad I'm also getting super hungry, but me and my boyfriend are going out to eat at like four o'clock for my birthday. My birthday is not technically till Monday, but we're gonna go out today, which is Saturday to celebrate just because I have plans like plans with my family on my actual birthday. He'll be there too, obviously, but we wanna go out just the two of us. Um, so I'm really debating on if I should eat a little something because it's literally in well, I guess I do have four and a half hours before we even go. I don't know, you guys. I'm very indecisive. I have a lot to do today. Okay, I need to clean my entire house. I need to finish laundry, finish the dishes. I wanted to take my dog for a walk. I wanted to give my kitten a bath because she kind of stinks. I'm definitely not getting all of that done. I also have three videos I want to edit today. Like, I have too much to do today. Too much. Also, tell me why... Aren't, these are the same blinds on the same windows. And tell me why this one's up so high. Excuse me. You'd think in the bathroom you'd want it like the lowest. I don't know. I really don't know. How's it going over here? Are you guys like friends or anything? Oh my god, they're best friends. Cute. But I thought you were supposed to be best friends with her. You're definitely not. Shadow, come here. Come on. Oh my goodness. My little kitten is like in the crack between the bed and the wall, but she's sticking out a little bit, swatting at my dog. And then of course, my dog like plays back because he thinks they're playing, and then my kitten tries to pull the victim card. Like, oh, he's hurting me, meow. Like, girl, I'm watching you start it. Don't even, don't even. All right, you can actually use the bathroom. You need to grab something to eat. Maybe, no, 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 no. Maybe you can call and talk to your boyfriend a little bit. I feel like, I mean, they did just go on a date, but besides that, they haven't really seen each other that often. Sorry, I just cheated and dragged up the cat social, but um, 
my animals don't really get that much interaction. <laughs> and I don't want to lose her either, so I just pulled it on up real quick. But I don't think anything interesting is really going to happen for the rest of this part, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna end this part here. I'm also gonna play a couple days off camera again. Um, so I think it takes like two to three days for the plants to get like fully grown. So we should have we have three right now: apples, limes, and lettuce. So watermelon once it's grown, grapes once it's grown, and tomatoes once it's grown. So we'll have three more about to blossom um so hopefully those three will be in i'm probably gonna do two maybe three nights for sure off camera so yeah the next part will be in a couple days but yeah thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you give the video a big thumbs up don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe if you have not already it would mean a lot to me and i will see your did i are you Oh, the girl, I thought she walked in on her. I was like, don't even. Um, yeah, and I will see all of your lovely, lovely faces in my next video. Bye, guys.